All right, first thing I'm gonna do is take a look at how we might do uh, what we would consider an unprepared, unassisted changeover from an ascent mode, I have my ascenders on, to a descend with a micro rack. Uh, this is probably the hardest changeover there is on a rope. So I'm going to do this one first and get the hard one out of the way, and I'm going to go up just enough to uh, get off the ground. We'll see what we can do here. That'll do. All right. The game plan is this. I am fully weighted on this ascender that's attached directly to my saddle. I have to unload that and put my rack my descender right in here so I've got to have room in here I will have to somehow load this ascender to hold me while I'm doing all this now I do have my adjustable tether on here but I'm not going to use it as an adjustable tether most would probably have a fixed length tether so I'm going to go with that I will have to have my foot loops to make this work. Uh, the idea is going to be I shove this up as far as I can get it. I loosen my ascender pull up so that it won't go up with me and what I want to do is stand up and drop that down. So when I sit back down, my weight's on the ascender. Well, it didn't catch it that time. I didn't do it. So I'll have to try it again. There we go. Just about got my tether too long. Now then, I can take this ascender offline if I wanted to, but instead of doing that, I'm gonna leave it right there and just pull slack in it. That still gives me two connections to my rope. At this point, I'm going to install my descender, which is a micro rack. So far, so good, huh? Looks easy. Hard part's coming. All right, I've got that. And if I could just get that weighted, I'm gonna have to have a little more slack. If I could get this weighted, I'd be in good shape. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and take my ascender off because I've got my rack threaded on and locked off. Here's what I have to do. I have to stand up in my foot loops, balance myself, and feed this rope through that ascender to take up some of that slack. Now. I'm locking my arm around the rope and the ascender. That lets me pull rope through the rack. And guys, you only want to do this one time because it hurts like heck. Okay, see what we've done. All right, look what's happened here. This one's gone slack, and I'm weighted on my rack now. And remember, this is not something you'd plan to do. This is something you'd do if you got caught in a situation and you just absolutely had to do a changeover without any other assistance but what you can manage with what you've got on you. So I am now ready for a descent. And that's probably one of the hardest changeovers you'll ever experience. Okay guys, there's one more method. Uh, if you're just kind of totally unprepared to do an on-rope changeover, an unassisted changeover, uh, rather than holding yourself up with this arm and working the 
the ascender up, descender up. Uh, you can do this another way. You can get get the uh, descender in place, as I have here, and work this down. And the way that works is like this. I'm not going to actually do this. I'm just going to talk us through this for time's sake and video space sake. Um, what we want to do is lock off our um, descender. And you can do that by bringing this around through here and looping it up over that. You can even put a half hitch like thing in it. And that will pretty much lock that off. Now, the problem is I can't load this unless I can unload that. So typically what we're going to do, and I'm going to balance my rope up a little bit, I would still be hanging on this tether, my foot loop tether. So I'm, I'm weighted here. I've got to be weighted here and unweight this. So the way you do that with your um, descender locked off, you might take a couple or three loops of rope, put it around one foot. Uh, you can even do a clove hitch. I mean, anything to get that rope to stay on your foot. Then you stand up, and when you do, it takes slack off of this, off the tether actually, weights the rope, but now you can release this and move it down a little bit and then sit down and see where you are. Well, if that fully loaded this and completely unloaded this, you're done. If it didn't, you may want to adjust your foot loops that you've put around your foot, stand up again and let this thing down a little bit more and sit back down until you've got this loaded. Now, I don't know that that's any less complicated or easy than the other method, but it is another method and some might prefer that method. So there's your two ways to think about and uh, use however you see fit.